So, hey, I'm back, and yes, it did just, like, suddenly cut off. So, we're back in Hansel and Gretel. This is um, video number three. When last we met, we were working on the chain. We had our three grays. Now, if you're not up to speed on this, I would suggest that you go back and find number one, because I'm not going to go back and review everything. Um, the people that are coloring long want to get along. So we just started with the Rafine 561. We did the darker parts, and I was starting on 566 to do the next shade. And then we'll go to 564. Now, if you're not using the same pencils, then you find a color that works for you. Am I on the right one? Yes. So, um, yeah, you just look and see. Look at the conversion charts or just look at your, your grays. I forget exactly how far I was on this, so I'm just going to come along here. It looks like I had already done most of these middle sections. So let's just pull some color in here. Keeping that harder or more pressure at the top, at the start and then getting lighter as we come to that white area is going to be a lot of help. And while part two was downloading, I went ahead and went over and did the other side of this chain. So through the magic of video, you'll see it in a minute already finished. Okay, and because this is right there at the edge, I'm going to go ahead and color that there. All right, going to my lightest shade, 564. And I'm just going to shade this all together. Okay. And again, if you have different pencils besides these Rafines, you're probably going to have an easier time shading than what I am. So um, kudos to you for picking a, a better pencil. But at the same time, you can see I am getting it done. The process just is a little different. So learn how to manipulate the pencils you have, and um, you'll be able to work with them. Now, this doesn't look so very dimensional yet. I mean, there's some there, but not like it's going to be. I'm going to go back and pick my darkest which is my 561, I believe. And I'm going to come in here. Now watch what I do. And then circles out lighter. I'm going to go deep. A lot of pressure. And then get lighter as I come out. Pressure and then lighter as I come out. Can you see a difference in just the top two chains? Come on, focus. There we go. See the difference? That's what we're after. It's just that little bit of extra that we spend on the details that can really help pull an area together. So darker and then lighter pressure as we blend. You'll see me a lot of times go back in and add the dark color again at the very end of my process just to deepen that up some. All right, so not real difficult. And you can see it doesn't take a lot of time. Just in that V right there, the V right here. But then make sure you do blend that out a little so that it's not so stark looking. Okay, so again, not, not a lot of work. Just adding a little bit more color. And it just takes a few minutes, y'all. I mean, you can see how quickly this is coming together. So if you need to pause so that you can go ahead and get yours done, if you're actually working along, then um, pause the video if you need to and do that. I know somebody said once that they were putting me up with their, I think it's the Chromecast, and putting me on the big screen TV. They said they had no problem problem seeing everything and I thought oh that's an awesome idea my daughter used to use the 
Chromecast all the time for watching YouTube videos, so why not? All right, just getting this rounded bit and then blending it in a little. Okay, that one already looks fine. Let's do this one a little. And see, that looked a little dark right there in the middle. But as I deepen the ends, it made that look light again. All right. And there we have it. So let me show you the other side because I already did this one. So see there, it's all done. Okay, so there's that. Now I am going to move on to his little britches or his pants, whatever you want to call it. Okay, is my light too bright? Let's go down a little. There we go. All right, y'all gotta tell me these things. Okay, so let's work on his little britches now. And I have picked greens, and these are really um, like an army green, so to speak. And I just like them better than a bright green. So I'm using 548, 544, and 551. Let me take a glance at my conversion charts. Um, yeah, a lot of those colors are on the conversion chart. So... If you're using other pencils, you might want to look at that. I know these do equal up or match up to um, colors that are with Prisma. So just like before, I'm going to go in the deepest area. I'm going to start my outlining here because it's going to be a little darker where they're actually hugging and having the overlapped fabric. See, isn't that a nice shade for... Um, for some britches, his little pants. I could have done them in blue for blue jeans, but I'm just thinking of the storyline and where they're at. I am going to go a little darker at the line, and I'm just thinking that they wouldn't have been blue. They wouldn't have been blue jeans. So, but you decide. You know, you're the you're the colorist, so you decide what you're going to do getting lighter as I come out so that I'll be able to blend that next color in. Okay, just getting lighter as you come out. And this is pretty well how you can do clothes on any picture because I know not everybody has Hansel and Gretel, but um, I'm aware that a good number of our ladies over on Facebook's coloring group, um, coloring books, Keep It Clean, have this book. So I thought I would go ahead and start in mine and just use it as a teaching tool. Mine came in last weekend. Very excited. Um, this author has nine books now, and I have heard that that's going to be it on the fairy tale line. So I'm very anxious to see what they start next. Um, again, this is the front of the book. And you can get a lot of the other books really cheap right now. It's the newer ones that are harder to find. But um, you can find them on Amazon Germany. Um, some of them are in the book depository, I think is the name of the place. So I believe that's where I got this one. And they'll run out, and then they'll come out with them again, and then they'll run out. So just um, be patient, and um, I think you'll probably be able to get them. I know they make them in a limited supply. So it's going to take me to get my two from Germany. Oh, my goodness. It, they're not due to come in until mid-October to mid-November. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Um, I got Cinderella from somewhere online. Okay, hang on. I have to turn. Remember, turn your book if it's more comfortable for you. 
So I got, yeah, it was from on Amazon, but it was a place, a bookstore from the UK. And I know you think, well, oh my gosh, that's going to cost so much because of shipping. No, a lot of these places, you're going to pay $13, including shipping, to get it to the States. Because the books are generally not all that much as far as an expenditure. So just do your research, look around for them. I know our ladies over on Coloring Books keep it clean. Um, we had a big discussion on it the other day and a couple more ladies were able to actually order from Amazon Germany. Um, it's, it's a little tricky getting around in the website, but once you find that globe up in the top right hand corner and change it to English, <laughs> it makes it so much easier. Now I'm just bringing this color around, getting lighter as I go in. Because I'm really going to make this area right here kind of light and worn. So I just have to get lighter as I come in. Light, light touch, baby's cheek. Um, touching a little bunny. Baby kitty. Just keeping that light touch. Um, cradling a, an egg that's not been boiled. Whatever whatever illustration helps you, that's, that's what we're going for. Now here I'm going to go dark under the edge because this is hanging over this. Okay, and then I'll do this seam area dark and then I'll blend these out lighter. Just blending it out. Okay. And then kind of darker on the edges because that's what's going to help make that look rounded. If you remember back to when we did the um, candy canes last winter. So, and yeah, we'll be doing some more of all that soon. Um, I'm not into skulls, witches, and all that, so you're not going to see me do coloring with that. I will do a few fall things. Um, my love here lately has just been these books. Okay, now I'm going to go on to number 544. That is my next green. And it's a lot similar to the one I just did. But what I want to do is go ahead and cover this area. And then go right up next to what I just did. Overlapping just a little bit. This green is just barely a shade lighter. In fact, it's close enough that I'm going to get in there and get that little corner that's missing. If you have color um, blending problems, go in small circles. It will get rid of the lines. It will really help. Now I'm going to lift this up. And hopefully it's going to focus for you. Oh, my lighting. Yeah, see, I changed the lighting, so now it's harder for you to see. Okay, can you tell, though? All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't even um, profess to be efficient with lighting and filming and all that. I just know coloring. I love to color, so I do it and I share. Just getting into those places that I just did, getting up close. And this shade's just one shade lighter. The next shade is going to be a lot lighter, so that's another reason that I'm going to come all the way in. Okay, let me show you so you can see what I'm talking about. This is number 551. Look how light that is. Can you tell? It's almost yellow. So that's one reason why I am going over all of this lightly, because that way when I put that color over the top, it's just going to lighten this area and not 
look so out of place, not so bright. It'll tone it down there. That's what I'm looking for. So going around here, getting lighter as I get to the center. And then when I come in with that other color, it's really going to help. Now coming in here and putting the point of that pencil down into the little grooves of the paper. Paper is lots of mountains and valleys that you can't really see with the naked eye. It's the actual grain or pitting of the paper and that's what grabs the color. So when you get to where your paper seems like it's not taking any more color, it's because you've actually filled in all those little valleys with color and it really is full and you're finished. So, just blending, getting rid of more of that tooth of the paper. More of those little valleys are going away. See, I'm, by doing my circles, I'm keeping soft edges instead of harsh lines all the way around in there using more around the outsides than I am in that middle area. Alright, y'all ready for this shocking? Okay, this is 551. It is quite a bit lighter. If it ends up too light, I'll come back and go over all of it. I'm not going to stress over it. Okay, I'm just coming in and blending everything. And that does look like, okay, I'm going to move the light, y'all. Hang on. I've got enough colored now. I think I can do that. Do you see how it's got that spot? So that is a little bit bright. So I'm just going to come in with that 544 and dull it down a little. Just going right over the top, knocking that color back just a bit. Not a big deal. Do not be afraid to layer your colors. That's where you're going to get a lot of the depth. Okay? See? So it's all right now. Now let me work on this one. Come on, refocus, camera. Uh, it's not focusing. That's why I don't like moving it. There we go. You're back. So now I'm taking the bright green here. And just bringing it in. And even if you go out of focus, at least you can see where I'm at and what I'm doing, I hope. Sorry, I don't I, I just don't know how to cure that all the time. I don't have a big overhead, nice camera. I'm not making money off of these and can't afford to get all the bells and whistles. It's just my phone. Okay, and then I'm going to come across here and get this little bit. And again, that little bit right there is a little bit light. Going back to my 544, going over it to knock it back a little. Okay, now I'm going to come in here with the lighter shade and really go at it again. I want to try to get some more of this in and we're at 18 minutes, 19 minutes, so this is fixing to click off. So I'm just going to work on this and I will see you in the next video. But I do like this color on his pants. And then I'm going to come in and put darker in the very corners just like I did on his hair earlier, remember? Just deepen that up a little. Makes it look further back, further away in the shadows. Just make sure you blend when you come out. Making sure that you're blending. All right, I will see y'all in the next video. It shouldn't be too long. I'm gonna try to get one more out today.
All right, I think I'm happy with that. I could sit and just keep working on it. <laughs> I know, it's what I do. If you see a spot that's not blended, go back and just do your circles. Then take your lightest color, do that blending. Oh good, this one's not cutting off just yet. Good, you're still with me. Remember too, our clothing wears, so it's not going to be the exact same shade all over. But I am happy with those pants for him. Okay? All right, so we're going to be done there, and next time we come back, let's see. We're going to use some of these same colors on his little jacket, and we will use some of these same colors from her scarf on her dress somewhere, just to keep holding and carrying the color theme through so that it doesn't look like they're totally mismatched. All right, I will see you back in a few minutes.